Hello guys, this is Abbas and welcome to the complete Android developer course from Master Android channel. We will continue the part two of our SQLite application in uh, Android Studio and this part we will create the database manager. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss daily uploads. If you have any questions, projects, suggestions, tutorials you want us to make, please comment it below. Please like our video so you're, you will help us making new videos every day. Your comment will make a difference. Let's start creating our SQLite application. We will start by creating the new class called DB Manager. So this is as a database manager where our commands or our uh, queries and the connection between the database and the main activity and the SQL uh, database will take place here. So we will start by making private database helper an instance of our database helper class so th that we have created before so if you miss the part one please go back to the previous video and see how a database helper work now creating an instance of our context is very important and we use also in uh, in our class now the private sql light database this is our sql uh, an instance of an sql database now we are creating a database manager so here we uh, here is the constructor for our class now we are going to pass the context of this application context C and context equal this context or C. Now we have created the variables and the objects of the classes, and we are going to create. We have created the constructors, and we are going to create now some uh, methods that are related to the uh, to the database manager. So public database manager open through throws SQL exception. Now we are opening the database to, uh, by calling the database helper class and make, making an instance from it passing the context of this class. Now the database DB helper dot get writable database as we see or so in the previous videos about the lesson that we have taken in part one. So if you missed the lesson about the SQL, you can download Master Android and Master Android Pro applications found on Play Store, or you can go to the, the part one SQL Lite database part one. Now, now we are going to also create the close application here database dot close here we are closing the database helper class now let's start creating other uh, methods for our database manager insert method will pass the string name and string description as their arguments now we are inserting in this in this way that uh, using the content values instance and objects the values of uh, of string the name and description to the to our database if you remember from the lesson that we have uh, taken that content values uh, are very important to pass to pass the data from uh, from row or uh, Android uh, Android syntax to uh, SQL syntax 
now the content values we are putting here the data from uh, from the database helper and passing the database helper name and subject towards the content uh, values and the uh, and uh, by using the put methods we are connecting with the database helper class passing the data that we need to uh, to pass and we are uh, adding the table name to, and the value null and the content or the context that we need now here there is some error cannot resolve the method but we are we need to change it to database.insert sorry database.insert and table name now let's create a cursor public cursor fetch method string string array and columns we are fetching the columns and putting them uh, or uh, making an array string called columns and new string database helper class dot underscore id then database helper dot subject and the last one database helper dot description closing the string array and using again the cursor so cursor cursor uh, if you want to know about the cursors in databases please go to part one and this uh, video series uh, database uh, sql part one and you can know about cursor and uh, these uh, syntaxes and the cursor we are passing the table name the columns the null these are values for a selection null selection selection arguments and we need to pass another two uh, nulls the group by nulls and the uh, having null these are the uh, the the uh, sql commands like selections like selection arguments group by having and order by these are for uh, making uh, the cursor uh, using the structured query language which if you if you know if, if you or you have any uh, basic knowledge about the sql you will know what means selection what means means group by having and order by till now we don't need to go through uh, these value, these uh, filterings or these uh, these queries uh, till now because we are making a simple app and a basic app using the SQL Lite database. So, if you want to go deep or we uh, want us to uh, lecture for you or clarify them, please comment below and I will uh, help you. But till now you are you are not going to use them or to or you want uh, mandatory uh, to know about them. Now creating a public end update method called long or passing long uh, ID, passing string name and passing string description. Content values dot class or content values a new instance from content values as we say, as we see in the uh, insert method we are going to create the content values dot put database helper subject and the name and content values dot put database helper dot, dot the description and passing the variable de description now we are creating the end 
variable. So int database dot update database helper table name and the content values passing a database helper class and the ID. Till now we are doing well. Uh, please, if you have any questions or any suggestions, please comment on our YouTube channel, Android Master app, or you can uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, searching uh, on YouTube uh, or Master Android channel if you are uh, having uh, our uh, logo or uh, uh, the, the keywords or the link. Now, uh, please come, uh, rate us five stars on Udemy if you are following our course. Till now, we have uh, done uh, using the DB manager uh, by uh, just making uh, the last uh, method called delete. So remember, the step uh, step one was making the database helper class that have the queries and the columns and table of using SQL language. And the second step is using the DB manager and making the queries or using the, the methods that we are uh, that links the SQL with the Android. Now this third method uh, or the third uh, steps uh, and the fourth step uh, is making the two new activities like adding the notes or adding the countries or adding the the to-do list and the one or displaying the countries or displaying the notes or displaying the uh, to-do uh, uh, notes now the delete in the same way as we have seen in the uh, update method and the insert method database.delete we are passing the, or using the database helper table we are telling them that we are using the id of our uh, application now uh, or uh, id of our node now deleting the extra space and i think we are done by our uh, db manager Thank you guys. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest tutorials and follow our next lesson lessons. Thank you guys. I hope you see, uh, I see you in next videos.